don't know about y'all. I don't know about y'all, but I know me. One of my biggest hell knows is to be the person that comes inside of a party and breaks up a good time. Y'all getting y'all Paul Pierce on, living your best life. You got strippers twerking on the floor. It's lit right now. And I'm coming up in there, hey, pack y'all bags, man. Get on up out of here. I don't like being that person. But Superman and Lois was the party. It was cracking. The first few episodes were so dope. And now the show is taking this traditional CW turn. So many of the plot lines I just don't like. They're beating things down that's been done before. And now I'm annoyed as hell. How you foreign niggas stop it? I was born in the tropics. I'm the way people mosh pit. And they came with a starship. Yeah. yeah, 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 I got it. Yeah, I'm really from the tropics. Fuck is you doing the next? What's good, Digital Trap Squad? Y'all know what it is, so check it right. Alright, y'all. So we all know Superman and Lois entered into the comic book live action hemisphere with a lot of trepidation. We were scared. We was waiting on the CW to CW. And from the jump, they didn't. Trailers blew us away. First two episodes were amazing. It felt like a movie. It really was dope. People warned me, Marcus, you're getting too hyped up. You're getting on top of that ladder like you always do. And then when that expectation isn't met, I come tumbling down, right? Like Humpty Dumpty. Like Super Mario, you feel me? I, I'm, I'm fucked up now. And that's me when it comes to Superman and Lois. There are certain things within Superman's wheelhouse as a character that is unavoidable, right? Lois Lane's going to be the love interest. Lana's going to be his first love interest in Smallville. Etc, etc. Daily Planet, y'all get the drift. Within that wheelhouse... It's two things that have been beaten down in live action, right? And I'm trying to crack the rhythm, the frequency. If I can quote <laughs> Barry Allen from the 2017 Justice League movie. D difficult. They require a lot of focus. They, uh, they have like a rhythm that I haven't quite been able to... Like brunch. Like, what is brunch? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Nothing. Ah! But Lex Luthor is one of those things that I just cannot stand when it comes to him being overused in live action. I, for one, was hoping Superman and Lois, at least for the first season, was going to step away from Lex Luthor and say, okay, let's get another villain from his rogues gallery right let's get a a missile plix let's get a bizarro let's get somebody that's from out of his normal live action template of villains right hey let's get sinestro let's go crazy with it i know he's a gl villain but let's get crazy with it right nope we got lex a character that has been done so many times in live action. I know it's a Lex from a different Earth. It's Lex, okay? He wants to stop Superman because he thinks Superman is going to be evil. Oh my God, we've seen that before. It's just remixed a little bit. <laughs> Damn, y'all did it. The CWCW. And then, the next thing, please... Please, 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 Lord, please, I do not want to see the shining green emerald say no to drugs and say no to kryptonite, please. And the Lord looked down on me and said, fuck you mean, we got kryptonite, bitch, and we got a gang of kryptonite. We got a whole cave of kryptonite up in this damn show. We now own the rights to this land, which holds enough ex-kryptonite to resurrect an army. 
shouldn't you be moving on to something different? Oh, it's different in this movie. How? Well, this time we've got a whole mountain of kryptonite. Ugh, again with the kryptonite. We done upgraded from the kryptonite shards. Shout out to Smallville. We done upgraded from the kryptonite chain. Shout out to the first Superman movie. We have a whole goddamn cave of kryptonite. <laughs> and then you look inside of the villains. At least the traditional bad guys that he's beating up on in this show appear to be super soldiers who are also capable of mimicking his powers. What CW show does that remind you of? My name is Barry Allen. I am the fastest man alive. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Where you constantly had the question, is all of this motherfucker's villains speedsters? Are they all fast? What the fuck? They CWing. And then, after re-watching the first few episodes last night, I'm really able to take a more critical view of what it is I'm seeing. And I'm saying to myself, I, right, it feels like this is the Tom Welling Smallville remixed where his sons, Jordan and Jonathan, are essentially going through what Tom Wellens Clark Kent went through in that show where he's being raised in this farm environment, Smallville. He's playing sports. He's getting to pursue girls and the pains of growing up. But instead of the parents being human, one of the parents is Superman. <laughs> If y'all were going to do this with the show, where his sons were going to basically be Tom Welling split into two, if y'all were going to do that, why not just give Tom Welling the fucking bag? Because all I see Tom Welling doing is conventions and Lucifer. Get that man the fucking bag and say, come on back, man. Come on, come on back. <laughs> We're going to get you a nice Superman suit, all right? We're going to make sure it ain't too tight, all right? We, we're going to get you looking right. <laughs> Give him the bag. Come on, man. Come back. Come do this show. Because it feels like they're remixing so many stories and plot lines we've already seen from the character in live action. I'm so fucking tired of the same tropes being done in live action. There is such a huge canvas they could have used for this character to avoid Morgan Edge and his mountain of kryptonite. <laughs> to avoid the Lex Luthor that wants to stop Superman. They, they, uh, uh, you could have stopped that. <laughs> stop, stop. Shit. Alright. Anyway, it's been weird, but it's been real. Alright. I got ground beef in the skillet upstairs. I'm about to eat. Get out of here, bitch. I look though. When I pull up, she gonna look though. Look at he mad ain't look, bro. She bad as hell, but can't cook though. It don't matter, but you still watching me while I did it for the look though. A hundred feet worth of drip, don't drown this fly shit. That's the look though. And look though, look though. I'm the wave, you can look though. I'm something different, I don't think you get it, but I still did it for the look though. Look though, look though. Yeah, I did it for the look though.